welcome catch my point on physics today our topic is sound in physics sound is a vibration that propagates as an acoustic wave through a transmission medium such as a gas liquid or solid in human physiology and psychology sound is the reception of such waves and their perception by the brain only acoustic waves that have frequencies lying between about 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz elicit an auditory percept in humans here we have an experiment by using two tuning forks oscillating usually at the same frequency one of the fork is being hit with a rubberized mallet although only the first tuning fork has been hit the second fork is visibly excited due to the oscillation caused by the periodic change in the pressure and density of the air by hitting the other fork creating an acoustic resistance between the forks sound can propagate through a medium such as air water solids as longitudinal waves and also a transverse wave in solids the sound waves are generated by the sound source such as vibrating diaphragm of a stereo speaker sound source create vibrations in the surrounding medium as the source continues to vibrate the medium the vibrations propagate away from the source the speed of sound thus forming the sound wave at a fixed distance from the source the pressure velocity and the displacement of the medium vary in time at an instant in time the pressure velocity and displacement vary in space the vibration of particle in the gas or liquid transport the vibrations while the average position of the particle over time does not change during propagation waves can be reflected refracted or attenuated by the medium the mechanical vibrations that can be interpreted as sound can travel through all the forms of matter gases liquid solids and plasmas the matter that supports the sound called the medium sound cannot travel through a vacuum sound waves are often simplified to a description in terms of sinusoidal plane waves which are characteristics by these generic properties frequency or its inverse wavelength amplitude sound pressure or intensity speed of sound direction sound that is perceptible by humans has frequencies about 20 hertz to 20000 hertz in air at a standard pressure and temperature the corresponding wavelengths of sound waves ranges from 17 meter to 17 mm the speed of sound depends on the medium the wave pass through and is a fundamental property of the material the, the first significant effort towards the measurement of speed of sound was made by sir isaac newton he believed the speed of sound in a particular substance was equal to the square root of the pressure acting on it divided by its density the approximate value of sound in air is 345 meter per second the ear a magnificent organ The ear is an advanced and very sensitive organ of the human body. The ear's function is to transmit and transduce sound to the brain through the parts of the ear. That means the outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. The outer ear. The outer ear is the external part of the ear which collects sound waves and directs them into the ear. The pinna. What is the pinna? The pinna is the only visible part of the ear. with its special helical shape it is the first part of the ear that reacts with sound the function of the pinna is to act as a kind of funnel which assists in directing the sound further into the air without this funnel the sound waves would take a more direct route to the auditory canal the ear canal the auditory canal once the sound wave have passed the pinna they move 2 to 3 cm into the auditory canal before hitting the eardrum also known as the tympanic membrane 
the function of the ear canal is to transmit sound from the pinna to the eardrum what is the eardrum the eardrum is a membrane at the end of the auditory canal and marks the beginning of the middle ear the eardrum is extremely sensitive and pressure from sound waves makes the eardrum vibrate in order to protect the eardrum the auditory canal is slightly curved making it more difficult for insects for example to reach the eardrum at the same time ear wax in the auditory canal also helps to keep unwanted materials like dirt dust and insects out of the ear the middle ear it is the part of the ear between the eardrum and the oval window the middle ear transmits sound from the outer ear to the inner ear the middle ear consists three bones the hammer the anvil and the stirrup the oval window the round window and the extraction tube inner ear is the most innermost part of the ear which consists of cochlea the balance mechanism the vestibular and the auditory nerve cochlea in the cochlea sound waves are transformed into electrical impulse which are sent into the brain the brain then translates the impulse into sounds that we know and understood sound produced by humans while speaking touch your throat and observe if you can feel any kind of vibration in your throat let us understand how sound is produced by humans in our body we have a voice box inside the throat it is also called larynx and is present in the upper portion of the windpipe you can feel this voice box as a bump by touching your throat two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box A narrow slit is present between the two vocal cords so as to provide a passage to the air. When air is pushed by the lungs through the narrow slit between the cords, it makes the cords vibrate. Thus, vibrating cords produce sound. There are muscles attached to both the vocal cords which allow the cords to be tight or loose and accordingly quality of voice differs. When air is pushed by the lungs through the narrow slit between the cords, it makes the cords vibrate thus vibrating cords produce sound there are muscles attached to both the vocal cords which allow the cords to be tight or loose and accordingly quality of voice differs in fact the length of the vocal cords is responsible for different voices for example vocal cords of men are 22 mm long that of women which is 5 mm long a child's vocal cords are even smaller than women's that is why the voices are different music and noise sounds which are pleasant to hear are called as music here we have number of instruments which produces pleasing sound noise sounds which gives discomfort to hear such unpleasant sounds are called as noise for example when a cup of glass breaks it produces noise so i hope you people enjoy this video see you soon bye sanjeev